Hi friends, welcome to video tuition. In this step by step tutorial, I am going to show you how Android mobile test scenario can be automated and executed on real mobile device using APM in combination with Selenium. If you are not familiar with APM, I would suggest you to go through APM introduction tutorial first available in my video channel. Before I start with Android test automation demonstration, here is the list of the things which would be required to proceed further. A mobile device with USB driver and Android version 4.2 or higher. APK file which needs to be tested. APM and Android SDK setup. Selenium jar file and web driver script for mobile application testing. To simplify the process, I have divided complete tutorial in four subtopics. The first topic is mobile device setup, second Android SDK and environment variable setup, third APM configuration setup and the last one mobile test execution and monitoring. So let's start first with setting up mobile device for Android test. To enable developer option in Android phone, go to settings, developer options and then select stay awake and USB debugging checkbox. It will prompt for USB debugging confirmation. Click on OK button to proceed. Once the developer option is set in mobile, connect mobile device to computer. To make sure your mobile device is recognized by machine, go to command prompt and type ADB devices, which should give you mobile device ID. If the device ID is not displayed in command prompt, then either developer option in phone is not enabled or correct mobile USB driver is missing on computer. Now. If you don't have Android SDK, download full setup from the link mentioned on the screen and unzip it to your local machine. Observe folder hierarchy. Inside Android main folder, you will see SDK subfolder and then platform tools and tools subfolder. Please note the location of these folders which would be needed in subsequent sections. Before we proceed further, we have to configure environment variables for Android if it's not already set. Please note, this is one time configuration setup. To set up environment variables, go to control panel and then system. Click on advanced system settings and then click on environment variables at the bottom of system properties window. In environment variables window, click on new button under user variable and set android home variable which is the location of SDK folder under the main android SDK folder. Then in system variable, locate path variable and then click on edit. Append the location of tools and platform tools subfolder of SDK folder here and click on OK button. need to provide values for application path, package and activities which greatly depends on apk file. Let's first place the apk file which needs to be tested under android sdk folder in the location mentioned on the screen. Android 4.x refers to the version of android mobile device. 
please make sure both your mobile and the android version you downloaded are same application path is the absolute path where mobile application under test is placed that means the location of apk file to know values for package and activities go to the command prompt then navigate to the folder where apk file is placed under android sdk folder and then run the mentioned command the highlighted portion will give you the values of package and activity for given apk file for this demo i have chosen ebay application for which values of package and activity are specified in corresponding fields now to set apm preference click on file menu and then preferences select the checkbox mentioned on the screen and close apm preferences dialog click on the launch button to start apm node and wait until socket.io is started So we have reached to the last segment of this tutorial. When the APM node starts, it will launch application to be tested in mobile as set in APM preferences. Then the next task is to run Selenium WebDriver script for the given APK. You can see now the script is being executed on mobile device connected to machine through USB. WebDriver scripting for mobile APK is similar to that of browser application scripting. For finding out X path of mobile application, you can use UI Automator Viewer, which comes with Android SDK. To know more about UI Automator Viewer, please refer to my video channel. Now, mobile test execution is completed. So, in this tutorial, we have seen how Android mobile tests can be automated and executed on real mobile device using APM. APM does also provide test automation solution for web, hybrid and native applications on iOS device. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please click on like button and do share it with your friends and colleagues. You would also like to subscribe to my channel and visit my website whose URL is flashing on screen to get the latest update. Once again, thank you.